Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. This week our retro review is going to be a little random. I wasn't sure what to do. With Guardians coming out, I kind of want to do a superhero movie, but I feel like everybody's doing that, so I went the completely opposite direction, and I'm doing the movie Homeward Bound. So Homeward Bound came out in 1993, and it's a Disney classic. I completely forgot about this movie, honestly, because it's one of those movies that it came out, and it wasn't a cartoon, so it wasn't like, you know, Disney always you think of cartoons, and this was a live action movie. Now I'm going to say right now, it's not an amazing movie. It's not like this movie is up there in the upper pantheon of Disney movies or children's movies, but it's fun and it's nostalgia filled. It's one of those movies that was like in the back of your head, like you knew it existed, you haven't watched it in probably 20 years, and then you bring it on, you're like, oh, I remember this, this is fun. So. You might remember this movie if you really think about it. It's basically the movie about it's a group of animals and they think that their owners left them somewhere. So basically the plot of the movie is they're journeying across this landscape to get back to their home. So first you have Shadow who's a golden retriever who's fiercely loyal, is the epitome of everything someone thinks a dog should be, and is just the most one of the most likable characters. And next you have Chance who is an adopted mutt who's voiced by Michael J. Fox actually. And I think the story really hones in on him and his character and how he learns family and learns what love is coming from, you know, living in a pound his whole life. Now lastly you have the cat named Sassy and she's just that. She's just a sassy cat. So while there are human characters in this movie, specifically the family of the animals, it really focuses on the three animals in the movie. This movie's really heartfelt. It has some really good moments in it that they really pull your heartstrings, and it does a really good job of not being too manipulative. Other movies that deal with animals like Marley and Me can be a little too manipulative. This movie is just a fun movie, and it does a good job of making sure the story is upbeat and happy. You don't get bogged down with something like one of the animals dying or something like that, which I don't think you need in a movie like this. Disney even has a habit of killing a main character, or killing characters to really just create this emotion in people that it doesn't need to happen. It doesn't need to be in a movie like this. Obviously this is a kid's movie, so you're not going to see a bunch of character development. You're not going to see any really intense acting or, I guess, voice acting on the part of these people. But Michael J. Fox is one of those classic voices, and it always brings back nostalgia when it's Michael J. Fox, whether it's Back to the Future or one of his many other classic movies. And basically this movie really highlights what you think of when you think of a dog, like a really loyal, a loving, just creature, and it just it's a feel-good movie, especially if you're a dog person or even a cat person it's just it's a good movie if you just want to have a good time watch it and just enjoy animals and at the end it has a happy ending and that's what we need we don't need these movies where the dog dies at the end or the family loses them and it's just this, this really drab thing that's trying to be this huge overarching theme it's just a happy movie about how dogs love people and how they just come together and while this movie is about connections and loyalty that you have through an animal it also, with Chance, it shows this development of what it's like to be a family and coming from like a broken home. And some people can relate to that. I mean, even though it's an animal, it still has these emotions that even connect with humans. And another thing I noticed in this movie, I think they did it recently in A Dog's Purpose. I didn't see that movie. But I liked that they didn't have their mouths moving or anything, which is kind of what they're thinking, which makes sense. They shouldn't be talking. And there's some funny little things in the movie where, like, they try to have the dog talk on the phone with someone. He's like, I don't understand what any of this is. Because it, I like that. It makes it like they're not part of the human world. They don't understand what we're saying. And I think that really adds something to the movie. So it's just a really feel-good movie. You should go check it out. It's on Netflix. I think it's also on Hulu. I completely forgot about it. It's just, if you want to just have fun and just be happy, it's just like a rainy after afternoon type movie, check it out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe, and I don't know about you, but I'm super pumped for Guardians this weekend, and our review should be going up sometime Thursday night, Friday morning, so make sure to check that out, and see ya!